Dominica has been obliterated by Hurricane Maria as the country's prime minister declared they had lost all that money can buy after he revealed in a series of Facebook posts how he had to be saved himself. The storm was ranked as a Category 5 hurricane as it hit the island, which has a population of 75,000, at about 1 a.m. local time, 6 a.m. GMT damaging building and causing flooding amid fears people will be trapped, injured or dead when the sun rises today. Boats have been seen ripped from their moorings and tossed around in Caribbean ports while Dominica Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt said almost every person he had spoken to had their roof ripped off their home during the night. With winds of up to 163 miles per hour. Maria is set to bring more misery to a region still coming to terms with the carnage left by Hurricane Irma. Debris from that disaster was at the center of frantic efforts to clean up late yesterday and today before wild winds hit islands again, potentially turning them into flying missiles. Only days after the Irma devastation, a hurricane warning was in effect for St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands as well as Puerto Rico. Culebra, and Vieques to the north. Antigua and Barbuda, Saba and St. Eustatius, St. Martin, Anguilla, St. Lucia and Martinique were listed on a so-called tropical storm warning by the U.S. Hurricane Center in their latest update this morning. The center downgraded Maria to a Category 4 as winds eased slightly following its passage over Dominica. But it regained its Category 5 ranking just after 10 a.m. GMT today. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said that the hurricane is expected to move towards the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico on Tuesday night and Wednesday, the Miami-based weather forecaster added. At 10 a.m. GMT in the U.K. today, Hurricane Maria was 100 km WSW of the French territory of Guadeloupe with maximum winds of 155 miles per hour and moving at 9 miles per hour WNW. The storm was as extremely dangerous as it headed for the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. The center said. Dominica Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt made a series of harrowing posts to Facebook through the night as his roof was ripped off. His home was flooded and he was eventually rescued. Mr. Scarrett said, Initial reports are of widespread devastation. So far we have lost all what money can buy and replace. My greatest fear for the morning is that we will wake to news of serious physical injury and possible deaths as a result of likely landslides triggered by persistent rains. So far the winds have swept away the roofs of almost every person I have spoken to or otherwise made contact with. The roof to my own official residence was among the first to go and this apparently triggered an avalanche of torn away roofs in the city and the countryside. My roof is gone. I am at the complete mercy of the hurricane. House is flooding. Come tomorrow morning we will hit the road, as soon as the all clear is given in search of the injured and those trapped in the rubble. The UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office is advising against all travel to the BVI, warning residents to identify shelter immediately and be ready to take cover when the hurricane approaches. BVI Governor Gus Jaspert, who imposed a curfew at 6 p.m. last night, reportedly told the BBC this morning, we have been securing shelters in each community, many people are in homes that don't have a roof or don't have adequate shelter, so we securing a hardened shelter in each community. We are expecting a lot of rain and we are telling people to move from low-lying areas, get away from what we call guts and we are frantically cleaning them because there is a lot of debris and blockages in them. We are also getting the debris off the streets. There is lots of metal where roofs have ripped off houses, in the last few days we've been clearing that up. Following a similar path to Irma, Maria's intense center made landfall with Dominica on Monday and the hurricane is expected to reach the British Virgin Islands on Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Brigadier John Ridge, the second in command of the UK's Joint Task Force, said whichever direction the hurricane goes, it is bad. They are either going to get the wind, which will pick up all the debris that is lying around, he said. The US National Hurricane Center, NHC, said the hurricane which has recorded winds of more than 160 miles per hour, is likely to remain extremely dangerous when it approaches the British Virgin Islands, BVI.
emergency steps are being undertaken on the BVI to prepare for the looming onslaught, although an official coordinating the operation has warned the islands had been weakened by Irma and the situation doesn't look good. Relief workers are racing to secure debris left strewn across the islands that have the potential to make the coming hurricane more hazardous if they are picked up by high winds. Another British overseas territory, Montserrat, has been issued with a horror.